It's the compassion of the goddess in a little lark. And the birds of Rhiannon will shield you from all sorrow until the dawn. What's, What's up, up witches? witches? Today we're going to be making a oil for Artemis. We have our base oil. We've got some herbs that are sacred to Artemis. And we have all of our little essential oils. Exactly. Uh, the container we'll be putting it in. And some stones. So we're going to come in so that you guys mm -hmm. can see uh, all the details on what we've got and what we're going to use it for. Um, and we're going to get started on making our oil. Okay, so here are the dried herbs we're going to be placing in to our Artemis oil. This is mugwort. And it doesn't look like the normal mugwort. It's a different variety. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but it's more, it's, it's got more of her scent that I would yeah, say. It's silvery. It kind of, it's more feathery. Yeah. It reminds me more of, of Artemis yeah. than the typical mugwort. And that's some of its root, which adds just extra strength. And again, we've got our yarrow. It's going to be kind of an accelerator. And I associate yarrow with her as well due to its uses with childbirth and mm -hmm. stuff. And we have some willow. Some little willow bark pieces. A one. Copal. Oh, that's the, violet. That's a little dried violet. And some. Copal. Copal. And also saffron. You may not realize it, but she is heavily tied to saffron. It's sacred to her. And that is the color of her tunic. Then we also have our crystals. So we're going to be putting in a crystal quartz point and that's one of her stones mm -hmm. and also um, a turquoise nugget and then just to take you through the oils we've got almond oil cedar clary sage lemon vetiver and a camphor and bergamot so we're just going to use about three maybe six drops of each mm -hmm. in our oil and then we're going to add the dried and the crystals and then cover with the oil cover with olive oil okay, first we're going to add in our dried herbs and this should be a interesting feat all right there's the mugwort root Violet and a piece of willow, the yarrow, and another piece of willow, or copal. Copal. I call it copaler. And then all the little pieces of the saffron. That was one of the six wishes she asked of Zeus, was to have a saffron tunic. Which is some mythology for the day. <laughs> Alright, so. The dried herbs are done. So now add the crystals. Let's do that point up, shall we? Mm-hmm. Like that with a little turquoise nugget. Alright. And then I think we should probably add the olive oil and then put these in. Right. So I feel like it would just make well, more sense. <laughs> so we think about right there. I'd go all the way up to the neck. All right, and now we need to add our oils. So this is clary sage. Shoot for three drops, and if we get six, that's okay. Come on. That one doesn't have a good dripper. No, it doesn't. In fact, it doesn't have a dripper. That's why it's being persnickety. Oh, come on. All there right, there's six drops. Six, twelve, whatever. And that's the almond, right? Mm-hmm. And almonds are used a lot. Uh, associated with her. So there's the camphor. I knew if I put the knife up. Which has a really strong, pure scent. Yeah, there's another word to describe her pure. So just put some of those in. Good. I can smell already. It smells so good. Well, that's that clary sage. Mm -hmm. It's all over my hands. I think we should use a lot of this cedar. Yeah, any tree, really. I think forests. We're going to add some frankincense. Mm 
go for it with the frankincense. Tap her off. Hopefully she doesn't overflow. No. Yep, she's going to. It's okay. Just let it happen. All right. It's pretty anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get some of this uh, poured out so that we can cap it and shake it. And then Brittany's going to talk to you about um, how to use uh, an offering oil for Artemis. Okay, another thing you can use your Artemis oil for is just as a general offering. You know, you can put it on a uh, charcoal disc and burn mm -hmm, right. it. Uh, I know we already said dressing the candle, um, dressing certain magical objects, like I might, you know, anoint my knife or one of my knives. Because Brittany uses her knife for magical purposes. Yeah, too. I have I have two little junky little knives that I use. Um, and another thing, you like different, I guess you could say things that you wear on yourself. Like, I might dress this ring, and it's already kind of dressed, yeah. if you couldn't tell. It's uh, deer antler and turquoise. And that's like, I wear this ring in honor of her. And probably what we're going to use it the most for is as a perfume. Yeah, it smells so good. Yeah. Like, like we're like intoxicated right now. I, I love like, it. I'm like... You know, it's like we want to go outside and run in the woods naked yeah. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Take that moon bath. If you set it in the sun, uh, kind of like the way people make sun tea, mm -hmm. you know, just let it sit out there and get warm. Or sometimes what I do is when I make oils, I will put them into one of those um, little potpourri crocks that heats up. Yeah. Uh, you can pour your oil That would in be there. a really good idea for her. Yeah, and just warm it up and you can smell it. And it also will cook the plants and stuff to kind of give it more of give the Give it essence. that extra. Another thing that uh, I like to do with um, goddess offering oils, like tonight when we are going to celebrate Artemis, uh, is just kind of put it all over. You yeah, know? kind of take put it out in with our little ritual bath that we mm -hmm. do. Big um, time. You know, just... Kind of help get you in the in the Artemis yeah. state of mind. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I am too. I think it's, it's really pretty. I think that's one of our best smelling oils. I think so too. I'm really proud of it. So um, we will actually write out the recipe of the oils and the herbs and stuff like that that we used, um, so that you can see it down in mm. the description. So um, if you guys like this, let us know. If you'd like to see more oils for more deities, you can let us know. We're always happy to research and mm -hmm. connect research with is them the fun and, part. and uh, you anyway. know make something special. So until we see you guys next time, just remember, Goddess, Goddess is, is great. great.